Welcome to Healthy Ever After online cooking classes for kids and today we're going to make a no yeast pizza. Feel free to use any toppings that you like and here are the other ingredients. First we're going to make a really easy pizza sauce. Start by adding a little bit of balsamic to tomato passata, then add about a quarter teaspoon of mustard, any type you like, to the passata. Then I'm adding some oregano, a teaspoon of garlic granules, a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. And finally, a teaspoon of honey or maple syrup. If this a good mix together, then you can set aside and we can get started on the dough. To a large mixing bowl, add the flour, baking powder, garlic granules, a pinch of salt and Greek yogurt. Start by using a spatula to bring the ingredients together. Then you're going to have to get your hands in there and start to squeeze the dough together. It will eventually come together, but you really must squeeze the ingredients together. Don't be tempted to add some water to this mixture. Just keep the faith, it will come together. You just have to really work this dough. I'm using a strong flour in this recipe, but if you use a self-raisin flour, it is much easier to come together and much easier to knead. Also notice that I am only adding flour to my work surface at this point because it really isn't a sticky dough. I'm only adding it now so that the dough won't stick to my surface while I am rolling it out. Roll out the dough to any shape that you want. It doesn't have to be perfectly round. Then use this little trick to get the dough onto the pizza tray. Roll the dough back over the rolling pin, lift up the rolling pin, and then spread the dough over the tray. Then I'm going to use my fingers to push the dough out to the edges of the tray, creating a little crust. Before I add the sauce, I'm just going to poke the pizza dough with a fork. This will help it to bake better. Then with the back of a spoon, I am just going to add the sauce to my pizza. I'm going to add some pepperoni, some buffalo mozzarella and a little basil, but you can add whatever toppings you desire. Then your beautiful homemade no yeast pizza goes in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for around 13 to 15 minutes. And there you go, your delicious pizza is ready. I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as my family do. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Or why don't you go over to my website and sign up for one of my online cooking classes for kids. Thanks for watching. See you next time.